and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to go for a ride on the Lyric Graffiti as you see the bike right there we're going to head over to King City Park for a quick ride and I wanted to take advantage of the sun which is out right now we've had kind of a rainy day so far and I thought wow let's get out there and enjoy a ride in between the raindrops for a change so here we go we'll let this car go by here I don't think we're done with the rain yet, so we're going to see more showers, I'm sure. But I thought this is a great time to get out there for a quick ride today and uh, do it with a little bit of sunshine. It is coolish, but I don't mind it. It's in the low 40s. I believe it's 42 or 43 degrees right now. Not too, too bad. We're getting to the time of year now when we get lots of color coming. Flowers are blooming and trees are gonna get their leaves back and I think the nicer weather is just going to put everybody into a better frame of mind. More people get out and about. I'm looking forward to uh, a nice stretch of weather. Looks like right here the bike lane is actually fairly clear. They might have recently uh, done some sweeping. So the speed limit on these side roads is 25 miles an hour. Sometimes it's 20, but around here it's 25. So this is a, the perfect speed for an electric bike in my opinion. The 25 mile per hour to me is kind of the sweet spot. So in the state of Oregon here, of course our speed limit for an electric bike is 20 miles an hour, but I think if they bumped it up to the 28 that California and many other states have, or some other states have, I think that would be, to me, a perfect speed. The 28 miles an hour would be right there. I think 20, 20 is good, but I think just a little bit more. I like, I like to ride, if I'm on the road, and uh, like these side roads right here, I like to be able to keep up with the traffic right at 25. I think that's uh, about right. I think that's where we should be. So the 28 would be nice. I wish uh, the state of Oregon just up the speed limit to 28. You know, not to get political or anything, but uh, I would like to see it kind of like 28 miles per hour all over the country. Like if California can have it 28, why can't everyone? You know, I don't know. Like I say though, I don't want to get into a debate over it because it is what it is. And you know, that's just the way it is and the way it's going to be. So, but uh, 
I've often wondered about that though, why some states have, like especially laws like this, you know, why that is, why, wow, look at the water over here. Gonna go a little bit onto the grass here. Everything is soggy. We've had quite a bit of rain here. All my tires got a bath whether they needed it or not. Thank goodness for fenders. This is a terrible bike path uh, that needs to be repaved. So hopefully where you are, you're able to get out and about and have some decent weather to do some riding. If, if you haven't been able to get out yet, you got to be getting close. After all, we are now into the month of April, so... No traffic around so I think I'll stay right here in the car lane because I am going to be turning left here I'm so used to using the regen braking on this bike, the Alert Graffiti, that I never use the, uh, the levers here, the hand levers, but uh, I gotta tell you that when I'm, <laughs> when I'm riding my uh, other bike, the, uh, the Grizzly, I forget you know and I I go to do the regen brake and it's not there you kind of get used to riding <clears throat> when you have it now or at least I do using the regen brake I never use the uh, hand grip the hand brakes <clears throat>
All right, well, that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. I want to thank everyone for joining me for this ride. If you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and hit the subscribe button.